So in this section, I will teach you how to use NIME to create a machine learning algorithm for a simple linear regression. The case study that we are going to use here is to apply the simple linear regression to predict the price of the house based on its size. So the price will become a dependent variable and the size will become the independent variable. So now let's us open the NIME software. So this is your NIME software. So the first thing that we are going to do is to open a new NIME workflow. So we can name it any name that you want. I will name it as a simple linear regression. Right, and this, I will save the this uh, workflow in the local, okay, in the local storage here. So when we click finish, so you can find that, okay, under a local storage here, local space. So my data will be, my workflow will be saved under that local workspace. Yeah? So the then the next thing that we need to do is to import the data set, okay. So is, since the type of the data that we are going to import is saved in the CSV format, so I will use the CSV reader. So we will use the CSV node reader here. So we can you can find it by typing at the search filter here, the CSV. So use the CSV reader. Okay, drag the CSV reader into the workspace or if you know the location, so you can just find it here, right? So this is the node that we uh, direct, uh, drag into the workspace just now. Okay, so double click into this node and we okay click to this button to find for the file that we want to import. So I will I will uh, I save it here. Okay. So, okay, this is the file. Okay, you can see that the extension or the type of the file is in the CSV file. Right, so you click open. Right, so please uncheck this button because we don't have any row header in our data set. But this one need to be remain checked because we have the header. So later on we will see. Oh, okay, click again and uncheck this. Okay, and we run it. So we view the data. So you can see there are two columns here. Okay, the price and the size column. Okay, so the data is okay. We only have 100 rows, so it's very easy for us to overview the data. And we can see that there is no missing value here. What happens if we have too much data? For example, we have 1000 row. Okay, 10,000 row. So it's very hard for us to observe it. Okay. So what we can do is we can use a statistic, okay, statistic node here. So it will be located under analytics. So we go to the statistic and then this node, we drag it here and then we connect, okay, this input and output uh, node, okay. So we want to see here. Okay, we want to check either both of these attributes, okay, both of these attributes has a missing value or not. So we drag it both of it here. And then you can, if you have interested, if you interested to check for the median value, so you can tick for this box and apply. Okay, so execute and open. So here you can see that, okay, it will give you what is the mean value of the price the house price what is the mean size okay but our intention now is just to identify whether there is a missing value or not in the data set okay we can found that there is no missing value for both price and size column then we can proceed <coughs> so this uh, this uh, I mean the case this the case study that we use here is very simple Alright, so after this, what we are going to do is we want to see the scattered plot, how the how it will looks like, okay, how the data or the point looks like in the okay, uh, looks like for this data set, okay. So we can uh, use the scattered plot, okay, scattered plot 
Okay, I use the local scatter plot here. Okay, I can use the JavaScript, but it will uh, cause a lot of computation when I try to open it. Okay, it kind of lag, but this one is very fast. Okay, so I apply this. <coughs> okay, so we connect this node here. Okay, better we use this. Okay, right. So, <coughs> okay, then we just click apply. Okay, this is the scattered plot that we obtained. <coughs> so go to the column selection. I prefer if I have uh, <coughs> if the y axis is for the dependent variable y, but while for the x axis it will be for the independent variable. So I want to change this. Okay. <coughs> so the x axis or x column I use for the price while for the y column I use for the yeah, I use the size for the x column I use the price for the y column <coughs> so I can see that there is a, some kind of linear relationship okay linear relationship between the price and the size okay means that the bigger the size the higher the price of the house you can see okay <coughs> this is the direction toward the higher a uh, bigger size of the house and you can see that okay this is the place where <coughs> the price is very ex is expensive for the higher bigger size of the house so i can see there is a linear relationship here positive linear relationship between the price and size <coughs> so we close this okay so in order for us to create what is the model to represent this relationship what is the linear uh, linear model linear regression model to represent this relationship so i can <coughs> i will uh, use i will apply the model here so linear regression okay so we will use the linear regression learner so from here we will identify what is the coefficient for the size and also the interception okay interception for this model so just drag okay connect this node all right <coughs> so in, in this case okay the target or the output should be a price while the input will be the size okay so we click okay and then execute on open so we can view the result here so this is the result so when we want to interpret this result okay so the coefficient for the size okay means that by increasing one unit size of the house okay it will contribute to the 223 point impact of the price okay by the way the interception means that okay when this is the initial price of the house okay but the most important measure or indicator okay when we want to predict the uh, we want to measure the performance of our regression is the r squared value the multiple r squared value so in this case it the value is 0 0.7447 i can say that in this case is quite good it's not uh, it's quite good, okay. It means that the data is uh, okay. It can be used to predict the price of the house. Of course, it cannot be one, okay. If one the model is too perfect, okay. In this case, zero point seven four, I guess, is considered acceptable for this house, uh, for this linear regression model. So the adjusted R squared, uh, there is not much information that can gain from here, okay. This only contribute when we have when we do some changes into the into the input attribute all right okay so do you think that we can improvise the value of the R square sure okay for the house for the price of the house okay it's not necessarily necessarily uh, because of the size factor only it can be due to the other factor 
okay so we will learn how to create the model okay regression model with a multiple input value okay in the next session we will learn how to develop a machine learning algorithm using an NIME for a multiple linear regression